Now with Dr. Jen, taking a look at a new article in the New York Times that says dad brain is real and it's a good thing. So you've Tell heard of dad bod, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I have. Sorry. We all have. And we've also heard of changes in the size of the brain that a lot of women experience. So again, the, maybe size does matter. We'll see. But a recent article in the New York Times really got our attention because it talked about brain scans done on dads after the birth of their children. And a, particularly a reduction in the size, slightly, of the gray matter part of the brain, which is responsible for higher level thinking, um, amongst those dads who had greater attachment with their newborns. So I think, first of all, the big picture here is that when you're talking about the size of the brain, just like other body parts, it's not just the size that matters, it's how it's used, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously, a attachment with a newborn is not a bad thing. So is that a trade-off that's worth it, number one? They also found that in dads, when they lost some size of the gray matter, that they had more likelihood for having depression and anxiety, so that's not a good thing. But with women, so much of brain size has been in the news and in the headlines recently as a negative. It's not always a negative. So I think when we look at neuroscience and the brain, we have to be very careful how quickly we draw a conclusion. Um, and this is just an interesting area. I'm glad to see dads being studied and not just moms. Mm -hmm. And something must change in all of us when you become a parent. Correct, both not only physiologically, but physically as well. So we're just kind of in the infancy, if you will. <laughs> of, boom, boom. of brain <laughs> research when it talks about becoming a parent. <laughs> All right, Doc, thank you very much.